we are going to do teammate wars the first running of the tired f1 pod teammate wars right ferrari so last season uh charles finished uh, fifth Sainz finished seventh in the championship mm-hmm. uh and the qualifying head-to-head was uh Charles 15, Carlos 7. So certainly skewed one way uh, in terms of qualifying pace. But he Um, did have the race win though, right? Correct, correct. He did not have the race win, but that wasn't enough um, for Carlos to to beat Charles in the championship. So so what what do we think is going to happen this season? How how do we think it's going to play out? So much like with the Mercedes drivers, right? I'm a little bit torn on this. Um, I, I feel like there's an element of what I think should happen versus what I think might happen. No. Um, and I really think that Carlos is a, a very determined guy. He, um, he, you know, he he has said all the right things in public, but I have to imagine being told no, uh, you cannot come back for for really no particularly good reason other than you know a seven time champion coming in. Is probably not going to sit well with him. It's pretty good uh, reason, though. It's pretty good. It's pretty good reason. So I imagine he is. He's not going to want to to cede um, any level of of space or uh, you know sort of deferment to to Lewis in, in that regard. So I imagine we'll see a very feisty Carlos. But other than that, I don't know how to predict this one. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm going to give it a go anyway because I think that we we talked about the the fact that Ferrari were quite conservative in the way that they develop their car over the winter in that they've kept the same uh, pull rod rear suspension uh, because it seemed to 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 be that towards the end of the last season they'd got on top of their their tire worries um and we'll see how that plays out uh, they certainly seem to have decent long run pace um in fp2 it wasn't class leading but it was okay um and i've said many times now that since japan leclerc was probably the standout driver of the back end of last season so if you put those two things together you kind of have to put your money on charles coming out on top and then and then if you put on top of that the fact that that he's the guy that's going to be hanging around at ferrari in the longer term and carlos unfortunately is going to have he's going to be uh the the rejection monkey uh and not be allowed to turn up to all of the meetings towards the back end of the season. You kind of feel like Carlos is a Carlos has a disadvantage, and that's going to be compounded over the course of the season. But I do take your point. Carlos is a fighter, right? He he does not give up, and you know he is going to want to show any prospective buyers out there that he has what it takes up against. The quickest guy in Formula One right now. Uh, we already know that he's he's beaten him over the course of one season. His opening season with Ferrari, in fact, in 2021. Um, so we know that he's got the minerals. It's just, can he do that this season? That's the big question, right? Uh, in this in this teammate pairing, are we going to see uh, the Carlos that finishes a season throughout the season, or are we going to see the Carlos? that starts the season on the back foot and then, and then has to and then has to work his way back into it i'm sure he will i'm sure if that's what happens he will he will claw himself back in again but is that going to be enough to 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 win him the the, the teammate head to head here what do you think the the body language coming from both Ferrari drivers this year is starkly different than last year right where we learned um, at some point in the season that they they had sort of known right after the Bahrain test that this was not going to be the year. Whereas this year, they seem cautiously optimistic. They're sort of non-committal, but, but the body language suggests that the car is, is there, right? And, and um, you know, it, as you said, they've stuck with a concept that uh, has largely not been adapted by uh, the, the rest of the field. So if Ferrari do have the ability to to keep their one lap pace, maybe slightly pegged down, but still be competitive in long runs versus Red Bull, at least going into the season, it seems like they have the best chance of pulling out more race wins. Dare I even say compete for the, the driver's championship, but certainly for the for the constructor's championship, I think that would be there. And that would be an interesting thing to sort of witness, right? Because if if Ferrari do get into this mindset of, okay, Max is out there. We're not going to catch him. 
we'll go to next year and beyond. But hey, we can grab the constructors because for some reason, Checo is not able to keep up with it. We've seen him struggle in the past. I think that becomes an interesting dynamic where, yes, they will compete, Charles and, and Carlos will, but they will both be fighting towards a singular goal. And I think that will change the dynamic. But yeah, you have to give it to Charles. I mean, he he's going to want to prove himself as as, yeah, the, as the de facto king there too. So yeah, yeah. I yeah, that. that's yeah, that's it. You're 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 such a team player. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I can see them both. This is the hard pulling one. The same, it's it's a hard in one. the same direction to get the construction. I'm sure they'll be <laughs> thinking of the team only. But I I think I agree. I think there's too much in Charles's favor. He's he's the quicker driver. He's he's the incumbent. He's going to be there next season. They've already started to develop the car towards him anyway from the back end of the season last year. I can't, I can't see it going any other way. But, you know, Carlos is a fighter. Maybe I'll be proved He's wrong, a fighter, but... but he's also not a spoiler, right? Like, he's not going to be someone that, you know, and he, you can genuinely see even with, I mean, he he was hurt, right? Like, I mean, I know they, they, it, it's a really difficult thing to do. It's a, to be told that you're going to, you're not coming back next year and, and you love this team and, and you can genuinely see that, right? So yeah. I find it hard to imagine that that if Carlos were told to be a team player that he wouldn't do just that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't think it's about him being a team player though. I think he's the kind of guy that if you've chucked him out, he's going to, it's going to light a fire under him and he's going to go it. for it. Yeah. I, I just don't think it was, it's going to be enough. Just given everything that's stacked against him, that, that second that's, place that's... is yeah. well, the second place is up for grabs. I mean, uh, you know, it was almost last year too, right? So, uh, it's there. It's there. Let's and see. depending on this new concept that the RB twenty is is displaying, if Checo can't get on top of it, that opens the door wide open. Really. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it was Charles that walks into that through that door.